Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Over the last 30 years, I've worked with a lot of business people. That's what I do primarily, is work with business people, whether they're working for someone or they're running a business and have people working for them. And I got this question, when is it their business to make it your business? Or when is your business their business? Or when is their business none of your business and vice versa? What I find in running a company, most people have trouble keeping morale up. And one of the fastest ways to destroy morale is giving your employees too much personal information about the family that's running the business or the owners of the business. And if you're working for a business as an employee, one of the fastest ways to ruin your credibility is to let the owners or your boss know too much personal information about you above and beyond what they have to know to hire you. In order to get a company to run like a sewing machine, we have to have proper boundaries and we have to understand where our territory ends and theirs begins. If you're running a small business, no matter what it is, and you have people working for you, one of the fastest ways you can destroy morale is to let them know all the inner twangs of what's going on with the owners of the business or the family that runs the business or your personal information. Or little sneaky innuendos as you walk around the office that you're disgusted with something that's going on and you're kind of cynical and just saying things under your breath. A fast way to break morale. Another thing we have to do is be totally transparent when we're working for a company or we're running a company. The more people feel like you're above board, on top of it, and being honest with them, the more morale you're going to have. The more people walk around behind people's back having these little office conspiracies going on when we're unhappy with someone so we're talking to someone else about it rather than going right to the source, that ruins morale in a company. And when it ruins morale, it ruins profitability. So if you're working for a company and you're a happy employee, stay that way by minding your own business and doing an extraordinary job. And for you to do an extraordinary job, the owners of the business are obligated to let you know what your expectations are, what their expectations are of you, how they're measuring your success, and to make sure you are heading in the right direction. As an owner of a company, if you can give that to your employee, you're gonna have a happy employee. And then just remember to keep the family business out of their business. And then if you're running a company, Trust your employees to do their job. If you've given them the proper marching orders, they know what their goals are, they have the tools to do those goals. New school thinking now in this day and age is to leave them alone and let them go after those goals. If we micromanage people, and a lot of people do because that's the generation I came from, you know, boss, employee, and then downhill, that doesn't work anymore. It ruins morale. People are too independent now, and authority is in too much question right now. If you're going to be an authority in your business, you're going to lose. You've got to build a team, and to build a team, you have to be on that team. So if you're running a business and having a hard time with people, or even your family members, or people that are co-owners or co-partners with you, you've got to be a team with them first have good communications, and make sure you have proper boundaries of where the information parameters are. If you do that, you're going to find your business is going to prosper, and it's going to all of a sudden take off, and you're going to wonder what happened. It's because you've got good positive energy, and people feel like they're accomplishing something, and they're making you happy. I don't know anyone that gets up in the morning going to a job purposely wanting to make someone unhappy in that business. Everyone has a good attitude. They want to do well. If we can approach our employees and our co-owners and our co-family members with that attitude, knowing they want the best for this too, and then help them attain it by giving them their ability to do what they know how to do. And then give them proper counsel, not criticism. Let's think about that. I want everyone's business to prosper, especially this day and age. We have an opportunity to change the paradigm on the way we run our businesses. Let's work on it. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary business day. Bye-bye.